right, Dang Jack's going with a balloon. So uh, my buddy Mike Tyler came by uh, Jeanette T. Fisheries, brought me some fresh calamari. So I'm going to show you how to clean one. These are some uh, incredible creatures here. You know, most of the time, restaurant business, we buy them already processed, you know, but nothing better than fresh. But so you got to pull the, see the head off? We pull that off. See? Then look at all the ink that comes out of it. But look at it. Look at the quill. It's crazy. You know, this is where they came up with how to write the writing instrument, you know. Look at that, dip, dip it in the ink. You know, people use a lot of the ink for the pasta, you know, for make pasta, but look, it's like a pen. And uh, so you take uh, take the outer part off. I'll cut, it's got, it's got a ton of ink in it. You see it in the bottom? So um, I cut the very t the bottom off just to rinse it out real good. These are the best stuff, you know. I really do love them. Uh, stuffed squid, you know. We'll, we'll do. We might do some stuffed. And then uh, see, this is where the ink is. And then uh, so it's best to do it over the sink. But right below the eyes, see that? We'll cut that. Clean that good. Okay. So then, um, then we're going to take clean up just a little bit. Uh, one thing is, the ink doesn't stain your fingers which, like regular India ink, would stain your fingers. So that's a plus when you're working with it. And then uh, I'll show you what we do here. We're going to make some, not deep fried, we're going to make some pan sauteed calamari. So here's, um, this is what I always do. I, uh, I kind of go inside out. So you turn it inside out. That way the rings, the, the rings will stay open. You know, these are, these will cook whole. And, uh, Go inside out with them. See that? So you got a little bit of the ink. Now if we got to do this job over the sink. Okay. Do one more. Clean them up real good. The most uh, restaurants are going to buy them very labor intensive. You know, so we'll buy them frozen usually. But again, you can't beat you can't beat the uh, the taste of fresh. All right, we'll finish these up and uh, we'll be right back. Come on, come on in, Lakeisha. See, this is I got them draining a little bit. So this is it. A lot of work. I tell you what, in, in a restaurant, like one order of fried calamari, each every table is going to get a couple orders. So a uh, little little slap your mama seasoning on there. C W Woods, thank you. 
some pepper, some sea salt. granulated garlic so we're gonna mix it up a little bit season it up real good okay and then a funny story when I, I uh, became the chef of City Cafe in Dallas and I was like the third chef it, you know they'd been open already for about four years it was already a really busy you know real busy restaurant and, uh, you know, pretty highly rated in Highland Park in Dallas. And and uh, <clears throat> Marty Schmay, the owner, she was something else. And we, we'd had changed the menu every week. And uh, so first week on the job, she wants to do fried calamari. And no fry later. At a small, a small pot on the stove. It was like... I mean, I'm working the first Saturday night. We had, we had just changed the menu uh, that that Wednesday, and uh, <clears throat> so, or actually Thursday was the start of the uh, the new menu. And the first Friday, the first ticket coming in, three orders of calamari out of one pot of hot oil on the stove. I said, "That's it." You know, the previous chefs had always boycotted, said, "No way, we're going to do that," and uh, I understood why. But, you know, it was, you got to have the right setup. You had to have the right setup for calamari. And, and sometimes you one person dedicated, you know, for to do the to do all the calamari. I mean, really, there's some nice uh, whole wheat flour. Okay. All right. this you find out where your hot spot is where it's, where it's cooking put a little bit of red uh, hot pepper rings in there them set we want to get them nice and browned up all right be right back on the subject right now Okay. 
right? a little bit of lemon on top let's give it a taste test mm. a million times better fresh than frozen get one with the uh, pepper and try a little bit with a tartar sauce don't really need it. Well, I had, see how the rings, when you turn them inside out, they stay open. If they were, they would just stay closed if we hadn't turned them inside out. Mmm. It, uh, when I had, I had Chaplin's restaurant, I used to do them in a skillet, sauteed in a skillet to order. A lot of work, but I tell you, the flavor was, I think, you know, as good or better than deep fried. You know, anything deep fried is, uh, kind of kill it. But here's the, uh, one of my favorite parts there is the, uh, tentacles there. Mmm. Wow. If you can get some, ha get your hands on some fresh, uh, squid, grating the red sauce, you know, fry Diablo. But Dad Jack's cool with the blues. The flour doesn't always adhere to it real good, but you know, even those little bits cooked with the uh, are real tasty. Thank you, Mike Tyler, Emma, Maria out on the island, and Janet, a great family, hardworking family. It's called me out of the clear blue. Hey, you like squid? Brought me over a nice bag of squid. You know, they're just beautiful friends and uh, really appreciate it so much. We made our made our night here. We gave us a nice nice little appetizer for us. Dad Jack's going to blues. Peace. Come on, Lakeisha, your turn to get in here.